How's it going, guys? In this trade, soon we're looking at the New York Arizona trade that sent Stefan to the Coyotes. Uh, hopefully, I pronounced his name right. I know we always mess it up. Uh, as you can see here in the quick settings, how the trade difficulty set to hard. So uh, this was another really interesting trade, honestly. Uh, Arizona, I think, is like a rebuilding team pretty clearly, and they're trading for Stefan, who's not old, but he's definitely not young anymore. Like he's kind of right in the middle. I think he's 27, unless I'm mistaken. Along with Stefan, New York also traded Anti Ranta to the Coyotes in exchange for a 2017 first-round pick, which was actually uh, the seventh overall pick as well as Anthony Delangelo, who's a very solid young defenseman. So, I mean, New York gets way younger. Arizona gets a couple, like, late 20 players. Obviously, their team's already really young, so it's not like two guys in the late 20s really going to affect it that much. But um, definitely an interesting trade. Like, not something I expected the Coyotes to do. I think in trading the 7th overall pick, Arizona clearly feels that Stefan is a first-line center. I don't think you trade a 7th overall pick um, unless you're getting a first-line center back. Now, some people would argue that and say he's more of a second-line center. Personally, I think he's, like, in between. I'd say he's, like, a 1A, not quite first-line center, but he's definitely, like, a top-tier second-line center. So, as you guys can see, he's 88 overall. I believe he's actually the third-highest-rated player on the Rangers. Uh, 26 years old, minimally potential, pretty high trade value there, making $6.5 million for four more years. Um, again, this is always beginning of the season, so you have to kind of minus a year. I'll take a look here to some other stats with him. First-line forward in this game, so, I mean, EA says he's a first-line forward. Um, pretty balanced stats throughout take a look here really nothing i guess else to see i'm actually kind of curious when was he drafted second round pick turned out really pretty well there for new york and like i was saying they actually added anti ranta who will probably be the county starting goaltender um right now they only have duming and johnson and johnson's currently a ufa and arizona hasn't signed him yet so i have a feeling they're just gonna let him go to free agency uh they got him back in the calgary trade that sent mike smith to the flames um so i'm thinking ranta will probably be the starter and duming will be the backup so stefan and ranta arizona actually wants both of them in this game so that's pretty interesting um so they're gonna get up the first round pick which isn't the seventh overall in this game it just has potential to be the seventh overall as the arizona pick and then anthony d'angelo who i think has a ton of value i may be wrong okay not as much as i thought 20 years old 29 overall medium top four i mean he's got a decent amount of value but nothing crazy so um the value is actually quite similar they want both players i could see this going through here um we'll take a chance let's see Trade rejected. So that's another one. It's so close in value. I thought for sure Arizona would say yes, as they want both those players. But again, even when the trade value is even, when the trade difficulty is set to hard, you usually have to give them a bit more, even in this case, they want both players. So I will now try the trade from the Arizona perspective. It'll probably also get rejected, which would be like three trade sims in a row where both teams rejected, which basically just means very fair trades are being made in the NHL right now, which obviously I think is good to see. All right, guys, so I'm going to try the trade as the Coyotes. As you can see, neither team is really interested in the pieces coming back. Um, also, I forgot to show you, like, D'Angelo's role. So, minor top two, D. Ranta here is a backup goalie. But like I said, I think in real life he'll be the starter for the Coyotes. So, chances are this is rejected by New York, but you never know. Um, it is pretty close. We'll see what they say. Yeah, so trade ejected. So, that's pretty crazy. And also, I have to mention, guys, because the draft happened a couple days ago, we know that the Rangers, with their seventh overall pick, took Leos Anderson. Um, 72 overall in this game. Top six score potential. Um, which isn't too bad, but in real life, I think he was a bit of a reach. They took him at 7, I think he was projected around like 12 to 15, and they passed on some really good players, like they passed on Casey Middlestat, who's not in this game, um, as he's an American player, not playing in like the junior leagues or the European leagues, uh, and he's supposed to be a very, very good player, honestly, I'd probably go with Middlestat um, over Anderson, um, they also passed on both Velarde and Tippett, so um, some pretty big names that they're passing on, I'll show you guys uh, what Velarde and Tippett look like in this game, but um, is Anderson worth more than the first? Um, in terms of value, honestly, I think not. But as you can see, in this game, he's much better than Owen Tiff, who's 53 overall. Um, that's pretty ridiculous. Like, he's playing on the first line, McLeod, and McLeod. Um, I think he should definitely be higher than that, but he also has the same potential there at top six. And then Velarde, I believe, has elite potential in this game, so, um, he's probably lower than 72 overall that Anderson is, but, um, he's got that bigger potential, so... Velarde's 59 overall, but like I said, elite potential. So, obviously, time will tell who was the better pick. Um, at least they didn't take Rasmussen like the Red Wings. I really don't like that pick, but um, anyway, guys, that is it now. I just wanted to kind of show you what that pick was and just give you kind of my thoughts on it. Like I said already, though, overall, I think a very fair trade. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'll leave the thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.